May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio podcast. A mini podcast, Brief brief Memories. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. Today we have another brief memory, and uh, today's brief memory is from Kobun Chino Otogawa, known as Kobun Chino Roshi. He was Kobun Chino Sensei. He just said, call me Kobun. He, he came to America in 1967 to be the priest for the Los Altos Sendo, but we were just getting Tassahara going, and he was there like before the first practice period, and he brought the he brought some wonderful uh, instruments from Aheji Monastery in Japan from the Soto sect, maybe not from Aheji. I think they might have been gifts from Aheji, but they might have been from the Soto sect. I don't know. A really big taiko drum, uh, a really big, wonderful mokugyo, the wooden fish that keeps the rhythm, big bells. We lost all that in the Tassara fire. It was all great. So anyway, uh, these are just, uh, this is just a little bit I have on Kobun. Uh, uh, who, he said, he said, I said, Kobun, let me interview you for the archive. He said, you're never going to get me on the internet. <laughs> so, but once he, he just called me up and he was feeling very sentimental and he went, oh, David, all that we've experienced together, all the people at Zen Center and Sokoji and Tatsuhara, Los Altos, here in Taos, and Suzuki Roshi brought us all together. What a wonderful time. All those who lived with him every day from different backgrounds and traditions and intelligence and how reality fits in played a big part in who Suzuki Roshi was. I understand that. And we all love him still. And Rinso in Suzuki Roshi was guiding young people to sit there long ago. Kishisawa is very important. Suzuki Roshi was Kishisawa Roshi's student. Today, many people don't know who Kishisawa is, but he was a very, very important person. Hashimoto, Koto Sawaki, Suzuki, all those people studied with Kishisawa. So I took down those notes, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago. <laughs> Here, I have, this is undated, this is really stupid. I wrote, I took down those notes 10 years ago, and it's undated. God. Um, and then I have another note. It says, I remember when Yasutani and So and Nakagawa were visiting Tassahara, you know, two famous Zen teachers that were doing sessions in America. I wrote about them coming to Tassar and Crooked Cucumber, and I write about it again, more extensively in Tassar Stories. And I might have already read that one. I can't remember what I've read and what I have Anyway, we were there, and uh, Gobin said to me that he said, we were looking at all the teachers together. He said, Yasutani, He's a good example of great Rinzai Roshi. Now, Yastani was really Soto, but, you know, he was this renegade Soto. The, the Harada-Yasutani line was, uh, you know, 
uh, emphasized how important koans were. And uh, they were really into pushing people to have Gensho experiences and like that. So it's very different from Mosoto. So he said, he's a good example of great Rinzai Roshi. And Suzuki Roshi, a great Soto Roshi. And then I said, what about Soen? Because Soen was a very prominent teacher. He was such a showman. And Govern uh, uh, said, too much personality. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you one of the, you know, I have a whole thing on geek.com. But I, I wrote for, what did I write it for? Oh, for v Vanya Palmer's, his disciple put out a book on Kobun. It was a, just a private book given to some people. Mm, maybe I should put it on Kook.com. It's, it's available. You can get it from Gkoji, I think. Uh, anyway, Kobun and I were driving out of Tassahara, and there was a dead rabbit on the road. And so we stopped, and... I put it off the side of the road, and then he covered it with leaves and stuff. And then he turned to me and said, or else he cannot become a Buddha. <laughs> so those were very touching memories Gobun had of Suzuki Roshi in that call. I mean, sometimes he was really pissed at Suzuki Roshi. Suzuki wouldn't marry him and Harriet, just, you know, because Coburn's father didn't want him married and Suzuki, you know, just, uh. But uh, he, Coburn, you know, he called me up with those th sweet things, pointing all that up and says, and we know them all because of Suzuki Roshi. He brought us all together, and uh, mm, it was sweet. It was sweet. Uh, I could go on a long time about Kobe, but this is a brief memory. It's a, more of a brief memory of Kobe. Well, it's a brief memory. It's Kobe's brief memory of Suzuki and my brief memory of Kobe. So this has been a Cuke Audio Mini Podcast, A Brief Memory. I'm D.C. Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Doggy Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and Dear Lovely Katrinka, and we're wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening. Thank you.